Oh my Kim, yeah. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a celebrity inspired look. Can you tell? Can you tell who it is? It's um, Kim Kardashian, one of her recent promo photos for her new collection coming up with KKW and I went for the, uh, I was kind of torn between the halo eye or the kind of olive khaki green, I just went with the green because I actually had a palette which is like absolutely perfect for this look which you'll see in the video so if you want to see how I got this look and all the products that I used and all that good stuff, just keep watching. So to start off with, we're going to start by prepping our face and today I thought why not just be a bit extra and use two primers. So I first go in with my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage which like is super hydrating and then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer because it just keeps your makeup on like so so well. And then I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation which is my absolute favourite foundation at the moment. I'm literally telling all of my friends to get it because it's so good. Um, just popping that on with the damp beauty bender and it has a kind of nice satin finish it's not too dewy but it's also not too matte so it's like a really nice kind of in between and I just love the colour I love the finish it really does last a long time on my skin personally so I'm just literally obsessed and then we need to snatch our face a little bit to make us look a little bit more like him just a bit more you know so I'm starting off with her KKW Beauty contour stick um I can't remember if this is the darker or lighter side I mean, who cares? But I'm just popping that uh, right in the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit higher than what I would do normally, just because that's like her face shape. And then I'm popping it around my lips um, and in like the little dent between my cupid's bow and along my jawline as well. Putting it around your lips like really, really helps to just give you that fuller appearance. Like honestly, it makes the biggest difference ever. And I'm just going to go in with a bit of my NYX Wonder Stick shade as well because it's a little bit more on the bronzy side. It's not like orange, but it just will give you that warmer kind of contour shade. And she's obviously super tanned and I'm not that tanned, so I kind of had to fake it a little bit. And now moving on to the eyes. I already did my brows off camera with my Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I'm going to take this gorgeous Bobbi Brown palette. This is a deluxe eye and cheek palette. And I'm just taking the shade, well, I actually take a bit of wheat and slate, but I just show you slate right there. And I just pop that right into the crease with a big fluffy brush. And then for the lid shade, because we're gonna do the olive kind of eye look, I'm going in with the Natasha Denona palette nine. And I'm taking industrial and glam green, which I mean, you can see by my face, like how much I'm into these shadows. Like they're so pigmented. I can't even explain to you like Natasha Denona, I think probably has the best and most pigmented eyeshadows. It's insane. I also go in with a bit of antique olive, which is the proper green shade as well. Um, and then I just go in with a little bit of, I think this is the espresso shade and the heather shade in the Bobbi Brown palette. And I just pop that right into the outer portion of the crease and I kind of run it into the crease as well, into the inner corner because Kim had it like really kind of blown up right almost to the brow bone. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of this brown gel eyeliner. This is also from Bobbi Brown. Just loving a bit of Bobbi Brown today. And then taking their little eyeliner brush, I'm popping that just like a tiny little line on my lash line. And then going in, oh, a tight line as well, by the way, as you can see. And then I'm going in with my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And then here I'm just kind of deciding what I'm going to do next by looking at a photo. I literally referenced the photo the whole time during this. Um, so then I decided to go in with the concealer and I'm just taking my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. Um, I think, I can't remember what shade this is, but I'll link everything in the bottom bar below anyway. And I'm literally loving this concealer at the moment. It's really, really long lasting. It doesn't crease on me as much as other concealers and it's really, really uh, pigmented. That's what I was looking for. So I'm just popping that in all of the areas that I really want to highlight and bring forward to the face, trying to keep it kind of in the shape that I feel like they would have put it on Kim trying to make my face look a little bit more streamlined um, and I'm just blending that out again with my same damp sponge. So if you've noticed, I haven't dragged that highlight out too far. I've kept it quite central in my face. And then just to brighten up that under eye and the chin even more, because it was so bright in the picture, I'm just taking the matte side of the KKW Beauty Highlight Stick and then just again using my damp beauty blender to blend that out. Then to set everything, I'm just taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I mean her contour was 
honestly so snatched. I mean, her face is pretty snatched naturally, so I had to fake it, obviously. So I'm just baking a little bit um, and taking this Huda Beauty brush and just setting kind of the rest of my face. I do then later on just go in with a little bit more powder and kind of, I just checked her photo and added a bit of baking like where it was most bright on her face and where I really wanted to kind of just snatch the contour. I mean, <laughs> we're looking so cute. So cute. And now I'm just finishing off the under eyes. I take basically a mixture of all of the shades that we've got on the lid. And then I actually go into this warm browns Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty and take a kind of pinky shade and run that underneath as well. And then we obviously need to go in and set all of the cream contour that we did and kind of warm up the face a little bit. So I just take my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood. And this is just a little nice, I think it's M433 brush from MAC. I not MAC, oh my god, Morphe. Who do I think I am? I can't afford MAC. Um, and I'm just adding a bit more on the forehead, just all over my face. I just felt like she was super bronze and all of my lights make me look so pale, so I just had to like pile on the bronzer and fake it. You know how we do. Then taking a small fluffy brush from Zoeva, I'm just trying to mimic her nose contour just a little bit, like really lightly. And then taking a little bit of the original shade from the Iconic London Illuminated Drops. I'm honestly using the tiniest little bit because hers didn't look too crazy, but she did have a really nice glow on her cheeks. And I just always love to use this before I go in with powder highlights. So I'm just using my finger to lightly blend this in. And honestly, it makes such a difference and it makes your highlight literally last all day long. It's so good. And then for highlights, I'm just taking the, Oh my god, which highlight is it? It's the MAC, hold on, Oh Darling highlight, that's the one. And I'm using my Anastasia highlight brush for this and I'm obsessed with this brush, it's so good. And I'm just popping that mainly on the cheekbones to be honest. I do a little bit kind of around the rest of my face and I actually do highlight right on the kind of tip of my nose to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, create, create the illusion that it looks more like hers, like it's a bit shorter. And I do the same where I go um, in between my eyebrows as well because I just think it looks cute. It just looks cute. Now this is totally extra and you don't need to do this, but I'm going to take some banana powder from Rodeal and I'm actually adding this to my under eyes just to brighten up even further. I know it's a lot of brightening, it's a lot of product, but I honestly think this makes the biggest difference. Plus it just makes you look so airbrushed underneath and she always like looks super airbrushed. It's insane. I mean, she probably is airbrushed, but you know what I mean. And now I'm, I'm actually going to go in and set my face. I do this a few times throughout the tutorial actually, just to make sure that all of the powders and stuff that we're using sink into the skin nicely. And now for blush, I'm taking the peach shade from the Peachy Love Blush Trio from Anastasia. And I'm actually not putting this on the apples of my cheeks, I'm almost putting it where I bronzed and contoured, if that makes sense, because that's kind of the vibe she had in the picture. As you can see again, more Fix Plus. Every time I'm putting powder on, I'm just putting on more Fix Plus and it really helps just to sink all of those powders into the skin and it looks super nice and flawless. And then for my lips, I take my sweet time with this, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm trying to make my lips look a little bit more like hers. Um, and I'm using my Well Lip Liner from MAC. This is my, honestly, my ultimate favorite lip liner of life. And especially if you're gonna overdraw, it's one of the best um, lip liners, in my opinion, to overdraw. I think because it's only slightly darker than my natural lip color. So I'm just basically, I mean, there's not much to say. I'm lining my lips trying to make it look a bit more like hers. I have quite a prominent cupid's bow and hers is a little bit more rounded off, so that's kind of the vibe that I was going for. And I did kind of shade in the outer corners because um, she had a really lovely nude lip, but just with a darker lip liner kind of vibe. I mean, that's kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day anyway. Now, since I didn't have a nude glossy lip, basically what I did, I used a bit of undressed gloss from Dose of Colours. I then went in with a MAC lipstick in Myth because they were quite like, a nice bright nude and then I actually went in with my MAC lip gloss it's just like a plain lip gloss but it's so so glossy like insane and the combination of that all together kind of gave us the vibe that Kim had in the picture so this is the final look you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this Kim K inspired look I do love her makeup looks I'm not gonna lie I love recreating them and I really like how this turned out and I got to use one of the palettes which I haven't actually used yet because I just feel like I didn't have a reason and it just went so perfect with this look. So if you did like it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.